Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll explain the second part of linear equations. Last time, I explained linear equations with number one as the coefficient for the variable x. Today, we will see numbers different than one, like two, and fractions, like one over three, and negative 2 over 5 as coefficients for the variable x. First of all, please like and share this video. Please also subscribe in this channel. Let's start with the first example. 2x equals 6. Now, we know that 2 is multiplied by the variable x. So let's ask ourselves what is the number? If we multiply by 2, we will get number 6. The answer is known to be 3. Now, this is the way how to guess the solution. But if we want to solve it, the only thing to do is to divide both sides with the coefficient of x. Now the coefficient here is 2. So 2x equals 6. Divide here by 2 and divide here by 2. This will be cancelled with this. So x is equal 6 over 2 which is equal to be 3. Example number 2. The, the uh, coefficient for x here is negative 3. So negative 3x is equal to 12. Again, let me write down the question. Divide here by negative 3 and divide here by negative 3. This will be cancelled with this. So x will be equal 12 over negative 3 and the answer is negative 4. Now again, if we want to check the, our answers, we have to plug the solution into the question. So we have 2 times a bracket. Ask ourselves if it is equal to 6. Now, 2 times 3. But we know that this one is equal to 6. For the second example, negative 3 times a bracket. Is it equal 12? What's the answer here? is a negative 4. We know that negative 3 times negative 4 is equal to 12. So the answer is true. Example number 3. What if we have negative x equal 5? We know in this case that the coefficient for x is not 1. It's negative 1. So let me write it again. Negative x equal 5, we should divide by negative 1, and here by negative 1. Negative x over, or negative 1, will be cancelled, if we can write it, will be cancelled with negative 1, and the answer is x. 5 divided by negative 1, positive by negative is negative, negative 5. If we want to check, let me check it. Negative and then instead of x, we will put the bracket. Is it equal 5? But we know that the answer is negative 5. So negative, negative 5. Negative 1 times negative 5 is 5. So we are correct. What if we have a fraction? Like 2 over 3 of x or times x is equal negative 2. Now... Again, we want to have x alone, or the coefficient for x equal 1. The only way to do this, or to solve such questions, let me write it down again first, is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient. We have 2 over 3. What's the reciprocal? Flip it. It's 3 over 2. 
and here 3 over 2. This will be cancelled with this. Why? Because if we multiply 3 over 2 times 2 over 3, we can do it in two different ways. First of all, we can multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So 3 times 2 is 6 over 6, and the answer is equal 1. Or, cancel this with this, and this with this, and the answer should be equal to 1. So in this case, we got x here. Now what about here? The right side. We know that negative 1 can be written as negative, negative, sorry, negative 2, negative 2 over 1. Now negative 2 by 3 is negative 6 over 1 times 2 is 2. And the answer in this case, negative 6 over 2, well, let me write it down again, x is equal, negative 6 over 2 is equal negative 3. If we want to check the answer. Two over three times negative three is it equal negative two? We know that two this is as if it is over one. Two times negative three is negative six. Negative six over three over one. Negative six over three is known to be negative two, so the answer is true. What if we have negative one over five x? equal 1. Again, we should multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction, but be careful. If it is positive, multiply by positive. If it is negative, multiply by negative. As in this case, negative 1 over 5 x is equal 1. Now we should multiply both sides by the same. Be careful again, both sides. So what's the reciprocal of negative 1 over 5? It's 5 over negative 1. It's 5 over negative 1. Again, this will be cancelled. So it's x times 1 times 5 is 5 over negative 1, and the answer is negative 5. Let's check it. Negative 1 over 5 times the x, which is bracket, is it equal 1? Now, we know that the answer here is equal negative 5. As if it is negative 5 over 1. Negative 1 times negative 5 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. The answer is 1, which is exactly as this. Now, I want you to notice the following. Examples 1 to 2. To 5, sorry. All of them... The left hand side contains only x with its coefficient. Now look at example number 6. 2x plus 7 equal 9. If we don't have this 2, then x plus 7 equal 9, it is exactly as the previous video, because the coefficient is equal 1. Now what if the coefficient, as in this case, 2x plus 7 equal 9. The first step to do is to get rid of this. Do you remember how? Subtract negative 7 and negative 7. Don't do any other things related to the x. First of all, we need to see x with its coefficient on the left side. So this will be 2x, 7 and negative 7 will be cancelled is equal 9 minus 7 is 2. Now consider 2x equal to as if it is a new question. What we should do, we should divide here by 2 and should divide by 2. x equal 2 over 2 which is equal to be 1. Now let's check. 2 instead of x bracket, plus 7. Is it equal 9? Now we know that x is equal 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 7 is equal 9. Another example. Negative 3y plus 2 is equal 1. Be careful here. We have the variable 
written as y. It doesn't matter. You can use x, you can use y, z, a, any variable can be used. So the solution will not differ. So what's the first step? Is to add negative 2 because this is positive, so we add negative. And negative 2 here. So it's going to be negative 3y. This will be cancelled. Equal 1 minus 2 or 1 and negative 2. The answer is negative 1. Now what we should do, we should divide both sides by negative 3. So it's negative 3y equal negative 1. Divide by negative 3 and divide by negative 3. This will be cancelled here. So y is equal. Negative and negative will be cancelled, so the answer is 1 over 3. And now let's do the check. Negative 3 times a bracket plus 2. Is it equal 1? Instead of the bracket, we will use 1 over 3. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 over 3. The answer is negative 1 plus 2. We know that negative, two, negative 1 and plus 2 is equal 1. So it is the same. Negative 2 over 5, y plus 3 equal negative 1. Again, we should get rid of the 3. Since it is positive, so we will add negative 3 and negative 3. So this will be cancelled. Negative 2 over 5y is equal. Negative 1 and negative 3, the answer is negative 4. Now, as we did in the previous examples, we should get rid of negative 2 over 5 by multiplying by its reciprocal. So I'll multiply negative 2 over 5y is equal to negative 4. I multiply by the reciprocal here and here. So the reciprocal is two or 5 over negative 2 and 5 over negative 2. This will be cancelled. So y will be equal. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Over negative 2, the answer is 10. Again, we'll do the check. Negative 2 over 5 times a bracket plus 3. Is it equal negative 1? Instead of the bracket, I'll put 10. Negative 2 times 10 is negative 20. Negative 20 over 5 is negative 4. Plus 3. We know that negative 4 plus 3 is equal negative 1, which is exactly as this one, as the right side. Example number 9. 2 over 3 x plus 4 equal 4. Now, before solving this, I want to ask you, what quantity you add it to 4, you will get 4? The answer should be 0. So we expect this part to be equal to 0. Now let's check. Now how to solve this one? We need to get rid of the negative 4, so add negative uh, 4 and negative 4. So it's, this will be cancelled, so it's 2 over 3x is equal 4 negative 4 is 0. Again, 2 over 3x equals 0. We need to multiply by the reciprocal. 2 over 3, it will be 3 over 2 and 3 over 2. This will be cancelled, x equals 0 times anything, 0. So as we expected, the answer should be equal to 0. Example number 10. x over 3 minus 9 equal negative 7. Again, we need to get rid of the negative 9 by adding 9 to both sides. This will be cancelled. So x over 3 is equal negative 7 and positive 9. The answer is now we know that x over 3 can be written as 1 over 3 
x equal to 1 over 3x is exactly as x over 3. Now we need to multiply by the reciprocal. 3 over 1 and 3 over 1. This will be cancelled. So x is equal. 2 times 3 is 6. Divided by 1 is 6. Let's do the check. And instead of x, I write the bracket over 3 minus 9 is it equal negative 7 and instead of the bracket I write 6 now 6 over 3 is 2 minus 9 we know that 2 minus 9 is equal negative 7 which is exactly as this